Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm 20 Scoops bringing you 22 Scoops Sauces every game, and welcome to Trove. Now, this is kind of an MMO style game, and there is a bit of frames, so sorry about that. I could probably edit with the video settings because, uh, hold on. What's in the custom brightness? Draw distance, turn that down. Shader detail. Turn that down a bit. Uh, except, okay, frames kind of a bit better. Oh, I'm getting high encoding when I play this game. All right, but this is Trove. I am using OBS to record this because Fraps does not work with this game. And I have played this game before, but found out that you can now get this on Steam. So I was like, you know what? I feel like playing it again. You can see that's a bit loud. Ooh, what's this? Unbalanced battle axe. All right, let me see how that is. Yeah, as you can see, I have a bunch of stuff. So this will kind of be a video to see if you guys will want to see me play this game. But where is it? Unbalanced battle axe. It's an uncommon. Physical damage is 23. Right now I am using, where is it? Uh, I do not remember how to play this game. Okay, I'm using the Dusk Sky Dead Psy, and it's a legendary, and it does 183. So, yeah. Uh, what am I getting in this chest? This is how you open chests, too. You break them. So, you got a mask and a rare melee, but my inventory is full. So, oh. Do I have another backpack? Oh, and I see how you trash things. So, this unbalanced... Uh, don't buy. Yeah. I don't need the unbalanced. So, trash it. And let me pick up this guy and see how much damage it does. Not a lot. I'm going to need to go through and get rid of some stuff. But yeah, hold H to travel to the hub. So, I have not played this game in a while. It has changed a lot since the last time I have played it. And, oh boy. You can see a lot of people play it. And now you could actually, there's PvP. i guessing there's none here. But, you get to different hubs through these. Now, me, since I've played this game a lot, I actually ha can jump more than once. Which I'll show you when I get in. I can jump a 12... A, a total of 12, so we got different adventures portal for levels 8 and 9. I am a level 9, so this is the one I'm going in. And you can see your level kind of at the bar down below. So I just wanted to start, I just wanted to record a little bit of this game, see what you guys think of it. And uh, if you guys like it, maybe I'll do a video on it where I start from level one. I would have to figure out how to reset my guy and everything or get a new account. But as you see here, these are cornerstones. If you hit E, it builds up your cornerstone. I have actually edited mine, so it's my own thing. And I actually have a personal chest here that I could put some stuff away in. And you can see I have a lot of epics and a lot of uncommons in here. But I'm going to start putting away some legendary stuff, which you just, which you just click and place in, or you drag in, like that. And as you can see, I'm actually starting to lose space. So, what I can do is I can just start trashing some things. Some of these uncommons. And all this stuff, because... I don't need any uncommons. This is just a hat, right? Yeah. Okay, trash. Rickety rake. Trash. The trauma bonk. The trombonk I want to keep because I like that. Look of love. Trash. And I think this is the mask I just... Is this the mask that I just got? No, I swear I got a rare mask. Uh... I also got a Squidward mask. D 
demotivational speaker. Because that is what Squidward is. Uh, I don't know where the mask that I just got is. I th guess it's this one. Wait till it turns around. It is this one that I got. The Stone Age Rage. But, um, I want... Oh, oh yeah, you could get credits, and you could get more for your box, but I don't need it. This is a uh, cat in the hat type hat, but yeah, they have a lot of cool things in this, uh, a lot of different crafting materials and things, but I'm not one to, t to trash a lot of stuff because I never know what I'm going to need, what I'm not going to need, things like that, so we're going to put all these legendaries in here in the box I'm only gonna keep legendaries and rares I have decided so this will go in the trash especially this chip sword this is what you spawned with that could go away uh, epics I mean epics and uh, but the trombonk is something I want to keep this could go away trash so let's just Throw more in here. Double digger. Or, yeah, the double dicer, I mean. Throw that in there. That in there. Fox. Fox bed with view. And I can't put anything else in here. Might as well. I'll put the bomb in my inventory. I'll put this guy in here. Plus, there are also different roles or different different classes as you can see here I need I only have this much so I can't really get too many of these classes so right now I am using the knight class and as you, there's actually a lot more classes than there were since I last played the game last time last I played this game was like not not years ago but like beginning of 2015 maybe and as you see up here, you can actually craft those portals. So I did. This is how you get to the hub world. This is the uh, level 1 to 3 portal, level 4 to 5 portal. I didn't do six, 6 and 7. This requires a level 10 or greater, so I can't enter that one yet. But this is the level 8 and 9, and I'm soon going to be 10, and then I'd be able to go into that one. But yeah, this... And another cool thing about this game is this. this is a good way to go you just dive like that you could move your cornerstone anywhere which I think is really cool there's a way to bring out your mount which I can't remember but now I'm gonna show you that I could air jump 12 times and look at my guy look at him and you could scroll in and out to change how how far in you look and all that stuff but yeah look at that and I do get damaged, but that's fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then, oof. Yeah. So, there is a way to bring out your mount. Oh, that's how I throw the bomb, and now the bomb's gone. Uh, how do I ride a mount? Settings. Controls. Uh. Oh, gamepad support. You can actually use a, uh. You can actually use a controller with this. That's pretty cool. So that doesn't say the controls though. Uh, how to play. There we go. E, C, open your character sheet. B, to open your inventory. Z, to mount and dismount your mount. There's a ship thing too. Wow. So, Z. Nope. G. What, what did you say? How to play. Yeah, I did Z. Do I not have... I guess, I remember having a mount. What happened to it? Do I not have my mount equipped? Uh... Hmm. And this is build mode. Just so you know. That's what build mode looks like. But... What's J? Oh, J is... That, C, oh, here we go. Got my, oh, yeah, look. 
I have a mount. I have Solar Sebastian. Oh, wait, hold on. Do I have any in here? Because I... Yeah, there we go. Pen block. I was going to say, I know I have another mount. There we go. So now I've hit Z. I am on a Corgi! And I can still do the jump thing. Which I really like about this game. And I really like the blocky look to it. And another cool th Ooh, liquids. What is this? What the heck is this? This is new. Oh, we're in the candy area. And this is... That's chocolate. Oh, I got one glim, apparently. Alright. But yeah, there are also dungeons in this. Got... These guys, let me. And because this is the level 9 to 10 area, things are going to be a lot harder to fight. And if you double click, or if you click too much, it will actually keep your guys stuck. Hot dog, it's a legendary. Take it. Uh, let me see what's better. Hot dog requires minimal of 8. 429 max health, 776 regeneration, uh, garnishes any stylish hairdo, not in your collection. I don't think this gives me any extra jump, because, oh, but hold on. No, bring back, bring this back up. Yeah, this one gives me plus four jump, even though it's, even though it's a lot it's a lot less defense, or a lot less health, I think, was that, was it gives me health? I keep forgetting that's B. Yeah, this adds, this adds a lot more to my max health, but this gives me more jump, and this one gives me minus movement speed and minus four jump, so I think I'll stick to this. Looks like we got some more of these guys. I don't know how to sprint. I can't remember how. Once I do that, it kind of... Okay, let's just hop around. And then Q is to heal. You can see the little bottles that I have. Does this guy drop anything? Nope. Now let me see if there's anything on top of this. There is. I think this is... Uh... Oh, you're done. Okay, come on. There you go. And now I could continue up. These will actually spring you up. And I think I am going to come across a boss here at some point. I need to heal up. Because I am actually getting riggedy riggedy wrecked right now. Take care of these things. Well, actually, you can't. So, I think that was it. Slay the cupcake catapult. Did I... I didn't do that. This must not be a dungeon. It was just a... An area to fight. Oh, us. Are you a cupcake catapult? You are. No, stop running. Jesus. Just need to kill the boss here. He's so close to being dead. And as you can see, I... Oh. I do have a down attack, which I'll... Sh okay, he's gone. What'd I get here? Uh, I like to pick them up, then look at them. So, we got cookies and cleave. It's a legendary, requires level 8. I think mine does more attack damage. Same speed. This one gives me more stability. This one gives me health regen. 
And I think I'll stick with what I have. And as you can see, these portals will actually take me up to the top. Where I could open up. And let's see what I got. We got Sweet Sorrow, which doesn't do as much, but does more attack speed and has critical hit to it. And I got a hat. Ooh, this is better. I got a better hat now. Okay. But I do have cat ears, but this gives me five jump. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 so now I have 13 jump and this gives me a lot more health so as you can see this game has a lot to it it's not just like you get put in a world and you have to just find stuff and fight no this has a bunch of bosses different biomes and it's just really cool and plus things like this you actually have to mine if you go into if you switch modes, which I th which is, uh, how do I switch modes easily? Uh, <laughs> oh, M is your map, as you can see. Is it? Oh no! Oh, I just hit B and then I go. Oh, this one go away. Then I go like this. And as you can see, this is how you mine. And it has different sounds now, too. And I'm getting a lot of uh, shapestone ore. We got some more ores over here. We got some primordial flames. It, the only problem is this chocolate makes me move so slow. It's annoying. Then over here, we got some formicite ore. And... So I kind of just showed you the mining, the mining portion of this. And you could also get yourself some blocks by doing this. So I'm getting some primordial purple. And then, ooh, hold on. We switch over to this mode because these guys are pretty hard to fight. Yeah, as you see, I actually never really fought this guy. Because this guy spawns in some mini, mini minions, it looks like. Alright, and if I hit 2, I actually set up a uh, cube, which is basically my shield. Uh, we got a legendary. Uh, looks like we got the catfisher. What is this? The catfisher uh, gives me... A lot of health, uh, but it give, but when if I equip this, that's what it is over there. Uh, Twelve magic find. I'm not a mage, so this doesn't help me out at all. Except this one really does. So I'm gonna keep the cat ears on. Cat ears help me a lot more than the other. And if I if I show you one. Will actually give me like a little charge attack, a, a dash attack. Uh, so we'll show you here. It's another good way to travel by doing like that. And just take out these guys. Ooh, what do you drop? A uh, crown of the candy corn. How's this one before this guy attacks me? Crown of the Candy Corn, 8% maximum health. I like the ones that give me more jump, though. Oh, plus the one I have on gives me more health. So, I would rather have this one. would still rather have the cat ears, but it's cool that I'm getting a bunch of legendaries here. It's good to jump around and kind of evade their attacks. There we go. And also, I think it's safe to say that now this is a free-to-play game, and you do it when you do get this game. It does get you something called the Glyph Launcher, which has a bunch of other different MMO free MMO type games. It is not a virus. Don't worry about that. 
but it will give you the glyph launcher and you do need to sign up with the glyph launcher uh, I'll take it even though it's not gonna do much for me uh, and also let me go over to this guy and see what he is because I've actually never fought this guy yet and you can see the yellow circle in my hotbar is my power and my speed my or my stamina so like if I do this too much it does go down so that's something to note but I want to find a corner also what biome is this Dragonfire Peaks master difficulty oh my god I could see this is just one of the enemies outside out in the biome it's not even a dungeon guy that might be the dungeon might as well go in and fight this before we end off the episode oh is this another player over here also jumping does reduce your yes this is a player what's this little guy hi let's see yeah as you see this world has no pvp this guy looks pretty cool. I know. He looks like he's got a little miner buddy. But yeah. As you see, these biomes are really cool. They have different music to the biomes. Which I thought was really, really cool. But let's see. Oh, this is like a church. What's... Uh... Oh, this place has already been done. Ah, except this guy. Go away. Okay, so this place has already been done. So I'll get out of here. Whoa, it spawns you on top of the thing. So you can see that it's been done by up there. It says objective complete. And if I hit M... Uh... You can't move while on the map up unless you hold it. You can see there's an X over it, meaning it has been done. So if I want, if I go this way, uh, it looks like I'd have to go back into the candy area. Oh. Oh, there's a cornerstone here. I, need, I actually needed a cornerstone. So, cornerstone. There we go. Hop off my guy. Because I think there's a way to... Convert Enchanted Forge. Convert some of my stuff. Uh, gardening Bench. Uh, those don't actually do anything. Uh, so there's no way to convert what I have into anything. Yeah, I'm going to have to sacrifice this stuff. Trash. Trash. Then I got some sticky ichor. I got so I'm keeping any epic because if I want, if I want to bring anyone on this, I could, I can, I could just give them some gear to start with, even though they're gonna have to start in the level one world. Ooh, what's going on over here? Looks like oh, slay the flame drake, slay the f elder flame drake. Has this guy not done it yet? Oh, where would he be? Huh, I must be close to it then. Considering it's telling me to do that. Look at this, whoa. Yeah, you can see the caves in this place are kind of cool. Alright, let me... M. Okay, but yeah. Oh, he's down there. How do you get down there? I wanna help, dude! Can I just fall through? Nope. Whoa! 
I just got little love hearts. Maybe that's how you get in? Whoa, what the heck did I just do? I gained mastery points for reaching a new level. I'm now level 10. So I could potentially... Oh, I got the levels because he killed the guy. And I was just near the area. So what I need to do is I'm going to... I'm going to hold H. Nope. Hold H here. Go back to the hub. And then I could go into the level 10 world. But I think I'm just going to end this off here. Uh, if you guys want me to do another recording on this, let me know. There's not going to be any editing to this, considering that my that fraps won't work and I have to use OBS. And with OBS, I have to upload things straight. What are you? Oh, there's someone down there. I like these little houses, though. Uh, anyway, there's not going to be any editing. Like, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to, what is it? Put in my intro, all that stuff. Oh, whoa. Dragon. Dragon Crucible. Purifying Dragon Flame. Craft. Crafted material to forge radiant equipment. Okay. Apparently there are dragons in this game now. That's crazy. But anyway. Uh, yeah. There's not going to be much editing because I have to use OBS and OBS does not want to work, does not want to give me files I could put into my editing software, so that's, a fi that's all fine, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you haven't clicked the like and subscribe button, and me a lot, and let me know you appreciate what I do on the channel, hope you guys enjoyed the 22 Scoops, bringing you 22 Scoops of awesome every game, every video life in general, and I'll see you guys later, take care. And I forgot I wasn't using OBS. I was using OBS, so I have to do this. Take care.